there is a new mechanic coming to the game. We're still waiting for the release of OPO 8 in September, but the end of August still had some product that we can unbox. I'm waiting on news about the treasure booster set because I'm interested to opening those on the channel, of course. But in the meantime, we have the starter deck 14 to open. As usual, I've picked up two copies of the starter deck because uh, some cards are just two copies of in the deck, so I want a playset of every card, so I have to buy two. Do you want to win a starter deck too? I'm gonna be giving this away on the channel. I will make a video detailing the rules of the giveaway so make sure to check that video out. It's gonna be in the pinned comment. But for now we're just gonna be opening starter deck 14 so let's jump into the video. Now I've changed my setup a tiny bit these last few days so excuse me if uh, this is not the usual setup you're accustomed to see on this channel it should be fine either way i think um i have other upgrade to my setup that i'm planning to do um so my desk is kind of messy at the time but uh, it's not gonna prevent me from opening cards now i haven't made a review of this set just yet because i feel like uh, i'm doing Two videos for kind of the same subject so i figured i might as well uh review this starter deck uh whilst opening it there we go i'm gonna fold this over so it's not gonna stick to any of the cards of course we're gonna have a dumb deck included stuff that we actually don't need well i mean any active player do not need that but yeah you get what i said so we're gonna have a black monkey d luffy starter deck uh i'm gonna zoom in on a bit there so i so i don't really have to stretch out my arms any more than uh, what's needed so we have a monkey d luffy black starter deck and this leader is very interesting and it marks a sort of turning point in the game because with black we are used to reducing the cost of cards and doing stuff with that either it's KOing the cards or it's uh, it's bouncing them back or whatever but here uh, we have the reverse of that we can increase the cost of cards so we have a done x1 effect all your character gain plus one cost and if you have a character with a cost of eight or more this leader gain plus a thousand power so of course uh, that's very interesting and i haven't really checked the the starter deck to see if they are using this um to the to its full potential in the game but it's still interesting to see new effects coming to the game and being able to have some variety um, with what we're doing with the game that's that's very cool to me so the very first card the character cards that we're gonna have is gonna be sanji it's a five cost 6k power and on play if you have a character with a cost of six or more you can kill up to one of your opponent's character with a cost of five or less so here you already can take advantage of both world with the black color where you can reduce the cost of your opponent's cards and at the same time um, with the leader try to up your own cost so you can actually use this effect to its full potential we got two of those of course those are the srs of the deck that's why i'm taking two copies of each deck because then i don't have i i don't have all the cards if i don't and it's it's cheaper to take two starter decks up front than to buy them single so there you go uh, next we have the second SR, it's gonna be Nami, so she's a 3 cost 2k power with a counter of a thousand and the blocker skill, so she's gonna be the low cost blocker of this deck and on play if you have 6 or less cards in your hands and a character with a cost of 8 or more, you can draw 1 card. So again, taking advantage of the cost mechanic that's been added with this starter deck, which is of course, plusing your cost on some cards. 
and uh, I mean the basic skill is she's the blocker so it's still useful regardless next we have use up three cost 4k power with a counter of a thousand the next one when attacking if you have a character with a cost of eight or more ko up to one of your opponent's character with a cost of four or less so pretty much the same as sanji only um lower cost of entry with a counter so um sanji is if you have a character with a cost of six or more Usopp is a character with a cost of eight or more so that's more late game and sanji actually targets one of your opponent's character with a cost of five or less Usopp targets a four or less so there's some argument to be made that this is a cheaper um less efficient sanji but this got a counter so it's it's still useful if you have this still in your hands and you get four copies of this next we have jimbe three cost 4k power with a counter of a thousand activate main once per turn up to one of your black straw hat crew type character again plus two until the end of your opponent's next turn so you get again a plus on your costs which uh, right now is just only used by Sanji and Usopp in order to KO but you already have two plus with uh, one with the leader one with Jinbei so that's already like three costs that you can add to any character meaning if you have to aim for an eight cost to activate Usopp or Nami you can totally target the Sanji and get um and get the plus three on sanji you have your eight cards so you can activate all of them already that's pretty cool next we have tony tony chopper four costs 6k power with a counter of a thousand just your regular vanilla in the deck next we have nico robin six cost 7k power counter of a thousand on play when attacking if you care if you have character with a cost of eight or more give up to one of your opponent's character minus five during this turn very interesting because you can do this every turn where you can play a jimbe on this very nico robin to boost her cost and then you have an eight cost or less um eight cost or more and so you can give minus five to any of your opponent so that's a, that's a very cool card. That's a very good addition to this deck. Next, we have your 2k counter, which is going to be Eradis. Um, one cost, zero power, of course, counter 2000. Activate main, you may rest this character and up to one of your black straw hat crew type character gains plus two until the end of your opponent's next turn. Then if you do, 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 then if you have a character with a cost of eight or more you can draw in trash one card from your hands so a very cool low cost plus two cost that you can totally use in addition to jinbei this is cheaper uh, but you forfeit the 2k counter if you play this so play this wisely if you have the robin you can definitely use Eradas, especially if it's set up on the board and your opponent hasn't cleared it yet you can totally go with that and next we're gonna have frankie five cost 6k power counter of a thousand the next one during your opponent's turn if you have a character with a cost of six or more this character cannot be ko by your opponent's effect and gain plus 2k power so that's a very nice boost especially during your opponent's turn because you're at you're you're basically at 6k from your base power plus a 2k that's a very cool addition a very strong card that will have a lot of staying power that actually you can use to be more aggressive and also to kind of uh, make your opponents target this a bit defensively but 
uh, it's not a blocker nor anything if your opponent wants to go after it and clear your board it's gonna have some trouble doing that sorry to interrupt this video but memberships are up on the channel and we have our first member so thank you very much drunky penguin god Seidel, and frosty jack to have subscribed to the god geek package if you're interested in the membership on this channel you can check the video in the description but let's get back to the starter deck 14. we then have yet another vanilla card five cost 7k power broke this comes with a counter of a thousand and you get four of those every card uh, aside from the sr right now are four copies of by the way and the next we're gonna have is Heracles. one cost 2k power with a counter of 2000 you may rest this character and up to one of your black straw hat type gain plus two until the end of your opponent's next turn so this serves as a good um i haven't noticed they they're all um they are all giving costs uh until the end of your opponent's next turn so this serves as well as a good counter to black itself where black will try to reduce your costs to chaos so let's say that i'm giving eight costs to robin total i'm gonna have an eight cost or more on the board frankie is gonna be powered up but if my opponent is playing black and trying to come at my cards with cost reduction and ko which is what black used to do they need to reduce from eight to an acceptable amount because originally she's a six but until the end of my opponent's next turn she's gonna be eight so that's a very clever way of uh of adding this mechanic and making it very interesting to play so it's a 2k counter and like i said uh plus two cost for just one drop until the end of your opponent's next turn very efficient uh kind of a double with erradas uh, which makes sense they have uh, they have the same kind of power and they were both there for some of the straw hat during the time skip and we now have one of the boss of the deck it's an 8 cost 10k power luffy and if you have a character with a cost of 10 or more this character gains rush so very good late game finisher uh, especially if uh, you drop this on your opponents and you have Heracles or Eradas on the board and you can add two costs to that luffy because it's already eight uh, that's a very good late game finisher we also have as sort of a boss a six cost 8k power roll no as a row comes with a counter of a thousand and uh, that's a that's actually a very dope card that's actually very cool and we are finally at the event and stage and we start with gum gum giant rifle so for one cost you have a counter if you have a character with a cost of eight or more which they will do because it's until the end of your opponent's next turn so that's very good if you have a character with a cost of eight or more up to one of your leader or character gain plus 3k during this battle very efficient and i believe you are meant to play this on that rush luffy to defend the 10k power you have on the board either that or frankie because frankie is gonna be at 8k and um it, since this is a done x1 during your turn you're still gonna boost to nine in order to attack so very cool overall that i feel they very thought this through and it's very it's a very interesting deck the next event we're gonna have is a two cost gum gum diablo three sword style mountain jet 600 pound phoenix cannon uh which is like basically luffy sanji and zoro doing uh all three of their attacks uh a main effect up to one of your leader or character guards gain plus 3k during this turn then if you have a character with a cost of eight or more you can kill up to one of your opponent's character with a cost of two or less uh, this also get, I, I haven't mentioned the gum gum giant raffle also has a trigger you can add up to one of your character cards with a cost of two or less from your trash to your hands so you can actually use this event to get back Heracles and Eradas because those are going to be your 2k counter so you need those in your hands but also you need them for their plus two cost to any character so that's a very cool way of getting your cards back and being able to recycle them and be more efficient um 
now this particularly um now this event particularly uh i haven't touched the trigger yet if you have a character with a cost of eight or more you can kill up to one of your opponent character with a cost of five or less well actually um that's the the, the trigger looks more interesting than the main effect to me um but uh, the main effect you gain plus 3k so either use this as a finisher uh, with your monkey d luffy or uh, try to have this in your trigger because the trigger effect is more interesting if we just look at the ko value but you still need an a cost or more so be mindful of that the last event we're gonna have is a one cost event i have my crew which is a main effect draw one cost then up to one of your character gain plus three cost until the end of your opponent's next turn very efficient very clean you get draw power and you get a, um, a trigger kill up to one of your opponent's character with a cost of three or less so i would say use the main effect but if you get this as a trigger and you can get rid of some blockers to finish off the game, that's going to be very, very strong. And the very last card of the deck is going to be the stage, which is the Thousand Sunny. I believe we already had uh, the Going Merry with the starter deck one. Let me check. Uh, I'm not sure if this was Sunny or Merry that we had in the first starter deck. I mean, it's been so long, I'm starting to forget some of the cards. Um, come on, starter deck, straw hat crew, come on, search. Oh no, that's uh, that was already the 1000 Sunny. So we have a 2000 Sunny now, uh, one in red and one in black. And this is a one cost event. All of your black straw hat crew type character gain plus one cost. Also on play, if your leader has a straw hat crew type, draw one card. So. I mean, the the base plus one costs uh, is is just permanent, and you don't need a condition. So I feel this is very strong, and you can potentially make a black straw hat crew deck, uh, which doesn't really revolve around the rest of the mechanic, but at least it's kind of defensive, where you can boost your power, um, you can boost your cost in order to prevent your opponent like i said previously you can prevent your opponent from reducing your cost too much and being able to do uh, what they want to do but overall this is a very interesting deck with a brand new mechanic that we have never seen yet for the game which kind of counters itself so that's really weird and really interesting Remember, we are running a giveaway where you can get your hands on this starter deck to the worst generation. If you're interested, check the pinned comment down below. I will make a video detailing the rules and how to participate. And for now, we're just waiting on the treasure booster set if that ever drops around my corner. And also, of course, the OPO8 set coming in September. So make sure to subscribe to the channel to not miss that. And OPO8 actually has some very cool stuff to it. So if you're interested in that check the two videos you can see on the screen